That, my friends, has been a long, 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 long building time lapse. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to get done, but I got done well enough. In case you're wondering what I mean by not, not get done, it's this. It's behind here. I really wanted to build out the villager trading hall, which is supposed to be behind this wall. As I built in my creative test road before we really started the time lapse, but I never really managed to get under with. But in that time lapse, we managed to get some other things done. Although, leaving sleeping has to, unfortunately, be for others. One, for one of them, we got done this road, basically. It's like a road, flying area in. We also have this, like, area where I'm able, I'm able to just fly in a lot easier. We also have this tower built up right here, and that tower. Control tower is almost like it. I think they actually look pretty cool, and I hope you guys do as well. Now, I've recently heard that there is a way to sell gold to villagers. However, I'm not 100% sure if that's actually like a myth or something, but I've recently also heard that Warlock has built up a giant village, and I'm very curious to see what it's coming about. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Wow. This looks really, really cool. They got beds and everything in it. Or are these are these actual towers? <gasps> Oh my god, these are actual towers! Oh my god, that's so cool! I feel like I should build up a pathway to get from the other side of another portal down over here, that'll look really cool. Wow, Warlock, you... You smashed it, man. Now I need to figure out which one of these guys sells gold. Alright, I need to find a cleric villager. And... Um... Um... What? What? These villagers are stuck. Hang on, guys, let me help you guys out there. You guys need a little bit of help? Or should I... Should I do this as well? Do you guys just, like, need some space to be able to get out? Or... Serious? Bruh! Bruh! Get- just get out of the water. Go wherever your houses want to be. Just do that. And... Shulker box. That is a shepherd. All right, I'll try to find myself a cleric. All right, I was ju I just got a message from what's his from Morlock saying that he does not have a cleric villager, but hopefully somewhere I don't have any blaze rods yet. All right, well let's fix that. Let's get let's let's get him let's get him some blaze rods. Thankfully, I know just the place, in fact, for us to actually get these blaze rods. If you're wondering what do you mean by that? Well, I mean that nearby here, if we just fly down this area just like this and get rid of this, get up, goodbye. Ack, I, I have my thing down so it doesn't distract me. If we fly down here, remember this piglin bastion around here? Well, I was flying around the other day trying to figure out a good place for another fortress. And I found this. This perfect, perfect nether fortress. That's really close to me. And it has a double nether crossroad. That is right. I think if we fly, come up here. And over here. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. This is the double nether crossroads. And this is where we'll be building up another fortress farm. I killed one blaze, and I got four blaze rods. And this wither skeleton trying to get after me. Thankfully, he doesn't have soul speed. I do, so I'm able to fly around on these things, and he sadly cannot do anything with you stupid blazes. I need to get out of here. And of course, the recipe for this requires... Well, let's just say... I ha- it's- it requires stone. Which is why I'm now mining stone with my fortune pickaxe, because I got nothing better to do. 25, that should do it. Nice! You, sir, are gonna be our first cleric. And you need some rotten flesh. You need some rotten flesh. Thankfully, I just know the place where I can get a lot of rotten flesh. And that, of course, is Rylock's base. 
Wow, Rylock, nice. I love this. This is really looking pretty cool. I wonder, is this still working? Hmm. Flying machines seem, seem to be a bit slow today. And... Oh, yes, he's doing some work. Alright, nice, nice, Rylock, nice, nice, nice. But what we're really here for is Rotten Flesh. Hello, Mr. Cleric. I am here to trade a bunch of Rotten Flesh. You're kidding me. I'm out of Rotten Flesh. Great. Alright, Mr. Cleric. You are going to be rich in emeralds. I am going to trade emeralds with you. Actually, I probably should wait until this guy restocks. There it is. And there you go, we have our gold trade. But we can still trade with this guy because it'll be a long time before his trades lock out. Ah, uh, and just like that he did. But we can simply do is we can just go find another one to trade some more rotten flesh with. I think I know why these villagers are all just sitting here. It's meetup time! I think we have ourselves another contestant. I saw someone. I saw someone. I was pretty sure I saw someone trying to get over here. Maybe it's this guy. Maybe it's this guy. No, no, we already traded with him. Uh -huh. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, sir. I am going to trade with you forever. Unlock your other trades, sir. Sir. Sir, alright. There we go. We are going to trade all of our rotten flesh this guy. Alright, we have a total of 43 emeralds, which should be enough. I have located ourselves a farmer villager. For that exact reason. His trades for this, though, are still locked out. But here we go. 18 golden carrots. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, this villager has made his way to his workstation, which should mean that D should be able to restock his trades. Come on. Come on, sir. Restock your trades. Restock your trades. Come on. Do it. Do it. Restock your trades, please. I just heard the noise and it has restocked. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. I have myself a lot of gold for the purpose, sole reason. For us to find ourselves a crafting- There should be a crafting bench somewhere. Oh yeah. This village house over here. This should have a crafting bench. Yes, it does. 33 golden apples. Not too bad. Well, I guess because we're out of gold means- Which means we got to make ourselves a gold farm. You see, we have this beautiful shopping district. And I feel that it has not been getting a lot of love. They're just- they, It just doesn't seem to be, like, attracting people. And we've- basically been neglecting it for a little while. Now, what I would like to eventually do is have this- this half of the shopping district be mainly for like the arcade style games and that stuff, while this area over here be for the actual shops themselves. But I actually came over here to buy some slime balls from Rylock's shop because we're gonna do a project for Warlock and this to connect his base up together. I think he'll really appreciate that. Let's see, it's one diamond for 128 slime balls. Okay. Let's see, yep, I have plenty of diamonds, that's for sure. Um, we'll get two. No, it's one diamond, it's one diamond. Alright, we're gonna place that like that. Thank you, Rock. That is the first official shop. The first, like, the legit first purchase ever made in the shopping district. Legit. Well, I just learned an unfortunate truth. This one diamond that I spent on slime balls. You don't even make mossy cobblestone with slime balls. What? I don't think I ever did- Oh, well, he has up there, so I just pressed a little bit of slime balls for him. <laughs> that's a little bit sad. I learned that you actually- that's actually vines that you need. Alright, just let's get over that pretty embarrassing moment there. It's not as glamorous as I wanted it to be. And it doesn't really give up give, give, give a real entrance in that I really wanted, but I'm guessing that this can most likely do the trick, except that bush that's bothering. Hello, Skelebones. You're not supposed to be alive right now. Thankfully, you're taken out, so you're good now. Well, that that was that 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 was that was sad. This guy needs a proper name. His name should be, I watch those who aren't supposed to be here. I think that's a good name. Uh, let's name one of them. Well, let's just stay. 
watch guard. And the next one. Mm, Gilbert. Gilbert the Iron Golem. How does that sound? Hopefully it sounds good. Hello, watch guard. Hello, Gilbert. For now, I'm gonna stick to taking out all of the mushrooms to get started for the Novacraft Shopping District expansion project. Alright. Back. Mm -hmm. My hand hurts. And so does my axe. It's about, well, let's just say it's half dead, so. We all know now that that is not a good thing, but I managed to clear out this entire place of mushrooms, any mushrooms that could be incompatible with what I'm about to do. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down some of these like bigger hills, and I'm going to terraform everything a little bit to just make it flow a little bit better. Ah, oh, great. I now have bad... Oh, what? Hang on a second. I now have bad omen. It's this creeper hole that I now have to fill up. I don't even know how the heck a creeper even managed to even get in here to be first begin with. Like I heard an ignition process. I was like, what? It's like, oh yeah, that would yeah, I guess that would make sense now. It would be El Creeper on Mary Spoon. <laughs> El Creeper on Mary Spoon. Uh I might as well do a little bit to take out that area as well. And place down that. And put some other act just around the corner right here. The rest in in. And there it goes. Looks pretty nice now. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I come up with about an hour later. The central nether portal. It is looking overlooking this giant plateau, which I have cleared out. And it will then transform into the center area of our shopping district. And I'm going to now take out this area up here and ter once again terraform it all up. Because honestly, it looks really cool. Well, about an hour's worth have gone into this. Exactly. And I mean almost exactly. One and almost two plots for us to build in, which equals about eight 10 by 10 plots in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there's another one over here. However, I've run out of grass, but thankfully I know exactly the place where I can find some grass. And that, of course, is the wish. Now, if I can remember correctly, this is another fortress. I think it's up here. Am I correct? It's like down over here. Oh! I was- I was right! It's right here. I think this should take us to it, and it does, alright, nice. This is a lot of grass, alright, that should deal us with a lot, we're gonna get rid of this stuff, and let's head back. Many hours later, and this is the final, final product so far, so far, it's, I think, over 20 plots in total, and it probably should last this for a little while, and if there's ever a need for more plots to be created, then we just come over here to the two community plots that we have right here. We we'll have a bunch of different things here, and just take some time, and take everything out that you need, and be on with your day. Oh my goodness gracious, I've been at this for a long time now. For now, I think I am going to do a little bit of speed mining, so that's why we're here at Roblox Place. an ocean monument, of course. 
and I think I know exactly where this is. I think we are miles away. Like, literal miles. This is my mining tunnel. Look at that. It was miles away. Uh, I think this is where we're probably gonna end off on this mining session. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Oh my god, it is raining, and you know what happens when it's raining. It's time to get this box out here, and here it is. Insanely fly very fast, faster than you should ever fly. Oh man. Ah, god. I miss this trident. I like I like this trident. It's my favorite trident ever. <laughs> Yeet. Now what I think I'm probably going to do now is first fortune all of these. But I'm also gonna go over to my Enderman farm. And I'll tell you guys why once we get there. Four stacks of diamonds. I've just turned on my shaders pack just to see what it would look like when I played with shaders on. Oh my god. Wow. This looks really cool. This this isn't this is like my secondary shader pack. I have two of them. I have continuum and I also have Seuss. The Seuss shaders. Ah, I think I actually prefer the Seuss shaders. Look at my frame rate up in the corner as well. My GPU is really able to he is really able to handle this. Wow, I feel like I might just play with shaders for the rest of the Novacraft season. Wow, it's really different in the nether. So the reason why I came over here was purely for the ender pearls. That's right, we're gonna make ourselves an ender pearl shop to end off the episode. For this project, we are going to be using black concrete powder. Eight stacks. That's a lot. And we're gonna be using it to make an enderman. A make-believe enderman in the shopping district. We'll sell ender pearls for a very cheap price because I got done with them. Welp, about an hour later, two shops have popped up on the shopping district. My first, the ender pearl shop, the spooky enderman. It's, it's, it's literally a black box, to be honest. It's literally a black box. And we have Ryloc's fireworks shop. Standing tall and proud here in the bright center of the shopping district. Right in the center area, where we were building ton hundreds of plots in the foreseeable future. But, I think I've run out of time for today. If you guys have liked this video, please leave it a like. I would really enjoy it. And if you really have loved it and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button. But my name has been Engineer L, and the Engineer has almost died. Goodbye.